Now, Kobe, did you ever meet Kobe or hang around Kobe? Shout out, Kobe. Long live Kobe. I only seen Kobe a couple times. Uh, last, mo most memorable time, Kobe drank Coronas all night with you, man. He'll sit there, talk shit, mostly about himself and how everybody else is trash. You feel me? And he going to sit there and sip Coronas with you all night. I think we seen him at Dre's in Vegas. Yeah, we was, in, we was at the club in Vegas. He was there for a little while. Like, he didn't drink no hard alcohol, though. Like, his his bucket was full of just Coronas with limes. And Kobe was in there chilling. And everybody was, like, fanned out, bro. Like, that's how you, like, you would be around people who got a lot of fans. But when people were seeing Kobe, bro, it's like they see. Because, you know, Michael Jordan, not personable like that. Kobe would talk with you. He would chop it up with you. He would kick it with you for a few minutes. Kobe is a good dude, man. Only a Kobe, man. That's kind of crazy because you really only hear about like Kobe's insane work ethic, and you know people don't really hear about like this party side of Kobe. You don't, you don't get too much of that. Cause it's brief. It's brief. Like he'll really be there forty five minutes, and then he's gone, bro. Like he'll come in there, he'll kick it with you for a few minutes, bro. Then he's gone. Like his security is gonna come in here. They going they going they going to tell you to come out the door. If he came and do an interview here, he going the his security going to tell you to step out. Whole people to step outside. They going to search the whole then all right, it's clear. Now you can come back on your own. And then he'll do the interview. Damn. Imagine that. Imagine that. That's facts, bro. I tell no lies, gang. That's facts. So when I heard about him dying, I was like, "Damn, like he took extra precautions for his safety. So him to go out like that, crazy. That's nuts, man. Crazy, Damn. bro. So recently, Loose Cannon. Yes, he's sir. He's been going viral. He's had some things to say about Big U. For sure. He had the uh, crazy story about Meek Mill. For you sure. know, that they had to pay to get Meek out of the club safely. You know, uh, what was your thoughts on that? My thoughts on it is this. Like... We never looked at Meek Mill and the Dream Chasers and them as like no gangsters or no like type of tough guys or nothing like that. Cause like, you know, the only thing you know about them is beating up Quentin Miller. You know what that is? Yep. That's the only like type of activity you hear about with them. So now in the field that I'm in, you know, any city you go in, bro, you got certain people you tap in with. Not checking in, you feel me? People you know. Like, okay, look, bro, we out here. And they, if they love you, they're going to tell you, all right, man, you know, be smooth with him. He out here lurking right now. These group of guys is lurking, you feel me? When you get to the when you get to the airport, you feel me? Make sure you go right to your hotel. Don't be trying to go to the restaurant and flex. Because when you get to L.A., bro, it's, it's groups of guys waiting at key spots to see if they're going to catch somebody. And that dude, Louis Cannon, his name came across my desk before for sure as somebody that you got to be aware of. So, like, when I see people coming out saying he's a liar, like, I don't know about them details that he's saying, but when it comes to being in the street, I'm, I'm going to verify, like, he's somebody that you got to be aware of, for sure. Because mm -hmm. um, we was just at Molly Mall House. Yeah, we was at Molly Mall House, you feel me? And uh, shout out my boy, my, my boy, my boy 3 a.m. was at Molly Mall House. And shout out Molly Mall, but you heard what, what, what they did to Molly Mall? No. Yeah, boy, Lewis Cannon and them beat the brakes off Molly Mall, bro, for, for, for selling them a beat. Because, you know, Molly Mall don't really make beats. See what I'm saying? Like, Molly Mall don't really make beats. He'll have a team of producers. They'll have the beats. He'll put them up in the crib. They can stay at his crib and everything like that. He got the mansion and stuff like that. And he'll put his name on they beats to sell the beat and, 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 and cut them in on the sale. So he did something with Lewis Cannon, bro, and he was pissed off about it, bro, because I guess he double sold the beat because he didn't really own the beat. You feel me? Yeah, they beat the brakes off of him. Did them bogus. Hurt that man, bro. So that dude is somebody that I was always told when you in L.A., He's somebody, he be lurking. It's other guys 
who we aware of, who be lurking through the city. You feel me? So they'll tell you, like, man, when you get to the airport, be smooth. You feel me? Don't be flexing. Don't be, don't be up in no road, stuff like that. Go straight to your hotel. You feel me? Like, there's certain areas in LA where they tell, they tell me, like, look, bro, if your clients out here, be on point. Cause they got guys waiting at the key spots, bro, like to catch somebody. So they can you get a Rolex, bro, a real Rolex, you can feed your team for a nice little minute after that. So, you know, you gotta be smooth in LA, bro. They about their business out here. For sure. What's up? This is Cam Capone. We got more content like this coming soon. So hit that like button, subscribe, and stay locked in to Cam Capone News.